Let's talk to some uh, ladies who are very enthusiastic and committed to ensuring that people are not denied their right to education for the lack of furniture. This morning, they have a concept they're pushing to us, One Ghana City for Change campaign, and the hashtag is Sit a Child. I've been joined this morning by Hilaria Wameye Dalu. She is the founder and coordinator, and Christabel Owusum Fum is a program manager. Ladies, welcome. Happy holidays to you. Same to you. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. So far, yeah. so good. <laughs> good. Just woke up early, but then it's fine. It's okay. It's, it's a daily course. routine for us here. Yeah. <laughs> yes. One Ghana City for Change campaign. Where did they come from? So it was born out of a need, I guess, to um, better the educational system, especially for those feathers behind. And when we say feathers behind, we're looking at mm. those who are not being reached immediately right. because whenever there are outreach programs many of them end up in a crowd or mm. it's environs so we're looking at those feathers behind so we moved to the north mm. very deprived areas in the north right. and then we began the agenda of okay. trying to change the educational mm. structure mm. not necessarily the structure but a few things in there that we felt that could be better mm. so our campaign is about um, eradicating multi-dimensional poverty okay yes and when we say multi-dimensional poverty mm. there are just other types of poverty exactly. that we don't mm. readily go to or look at. Mm. For example, if a child goes to school, are we looking at how many times the child is present at school? Are we looking at uh, what is preventing the child from going to school? Mm. You know, when they come out, are they responsible adults? <clears throat> so we're looking at all these factors. And so it ties in really with the Set a Child Project, which is looking at that aspect of education, which is about mm. structure. Okay. And again, putting discipline in the classroom. Mm. They have decks in the classroom because of discipline. So when you go, you know where you're going to sit. Right. And then it brings some form of decorum in the classroom. Mm. So mm. the teacher is teaching to a student who are well-seated. Okay. It's all part of the discipline. Right. And it's all part of the grooming mm. of a child. So when they lose that, and at the very early stage, really, when they are children, they are all lying on the floor, they think they are playing. Exactly. So when they lose that, mm. we lose them forever. Interesting. So this started how long ago, Ms. Infum? Um, it started about a year ago. Um, we're actually in the north in March for the project. Um, we went back to give um, materials, reading materials, books. We went with PPAG okay. to educate the students, the community okay. about sexual related issues mm -hmm. and we did some donations. So it was from that point we, we were fishing out what can we do to help because okay. Even though we are concentrating on the north, we will definitely move from the north. We will go to other schools. I mean, there are other schools that need our help. Right, yeah. Right. So we realized that I think we should start with furniture. We actually um, we had the one C four C one City for Change okay. um, Readers Club. So we try to engage them. We are trying to, you know, create the, the mm. motivation mm. just for them to. I see. Play. And uh, this this will be in, in how many communities? I'm sure you have a plan, a program. Ex exactly. Well, so, what are we looking at? Okay. So essentially, we're going to look at the district level. Okay. Because we want to get down to the problem. <laughs> and if you're looking at the problem, you don't want to look at it nationally. Okay. Because then you might make a mistake. Right. What works in Accra might not work in the north. Absolutely. And even in the north, what works in a particular district it might not necessarily work, work in another in district. district. True. So what are we doing? We are, we are trying to get to sit with the assembly men, the teachers, okay. the chiefs, really everybody involved mm -hmm. in the education system. So we've been in talks with the GES in the Upper East Region, which is the Paga constituency or the Kasanankana West right. District. And that's the first district we started with, okay. a community called Kalevio. So once okay. we are from Kalevio, we move to other communities within the same district. Okay. So that once <clears> we've captured that district and we are done with them, we can safely move to another okay. district. And, and how many seats are we looking, desks so are we looking currently for? Currently we're looking for 100. 100? Yes, we want to start with 100. Okay. Even though we would want for more, mm -hmm. but let's start with 100. 100. Yes. That's, that's a good number to start with. So how can somebody support you, for example, Ms. Infum? Um, we have a mobile money number. Okay. You can donate. We say one CD for change. You can give one, but you can give more. <laughs> you can yeah. give, you give one, one many one. times. Correct. One okay. Okay. Yeah. You can give one, but you can give so many times. And I mean, give us your change. Mm. You can give as big as you can. I mean, we are saying one CD, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so let's, yeah. let's hear the mobile money number, how we can all contribute to make this. I mean, one would, I've had people who have argued that, look, this is the job of the district assembly. Exactly. This is the job of the government. It shouldn't take uh, people like you who are mm. ad advocates mm. and activists to, to be doing this because right. then we are helping the state to be right. to renege on their duties. Right. What, do you say, what do you say to that? So I think that 
I mean, we, we've had talks as a, as a team about some of these things, and people have approached us with, with it. And I'm saying that there come a time when human beings as well have to come together okay. and then mobilize. Mm. Because government is us. We are government. All of us are inclusive. Right. Exactly. So it's, it's not an autocratic world. This is a democratic world where we all come and put our hands on the table and get the job done. So, for example, if we are calling on individuals as well to come together and then mobilize and then do something. Mm. I think it's in the right direction. And we've really been doing that. Right. We, we go to donors and then we seek for, for, mm. for donor partners to come mm. on board and help us as a country. Right. And so why can't we as ourselves get up? And then, like I'm saying, one city for change. If I take your one city and I take mm. your brother's one city, together it can do something. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's hear the mobile money number quickly okay. and uh, see how we, we progress from there. It's 0243 okay. 34 Five two six six. Say the other game slowly. Zero two four three <laughs> three four five two six six. And and we're sure that once we get the money, it will go into the exactly. provision of so governance tax. So we, we we have we have a comprehensive report, so it's available to people. We think we can give back to. It's available to anybody at all. Okay, it's, right, right yeah, information. We, correct. <laughs> <laughs> how many? How much is it costing us to fabricate <laughs> one desk? So um, we are looking at the galvanized dual desk, and um, it's it's averagely it's three hundred and twenty Ghana CD okay. for one. Okay. So if we are doing hundred, doing the math, mm. we are looking at three thirty two thousand okay. CDs mm. to go back and help people in the Calvio mm. district. And these are galvanized desks, which right. is right. So it, it would last for a long, long, long time. Thank you, ladies, and I hope that we get the needed support for you, Hilaria Wemeye. Dalu is the founder and coordinator of the One Ghana City for Change campaign. Hashtag said a child and the program officer is Christabel Owusu from Ladies. Most grateful for your time.